Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome back to the little shop of horrors here. I apologize for being away for so long, but it, I have just been insanely busy. It should be criminal I've been so busy. Seven days a week for, I don't know, two months? It just never seems to end. So on this three-day weekend, I told the wifely unit Thursday that the word of the weekend is no. No, I'm not helping your sisters. No, I'm not helping my brothers. No, I'm not helping our friends. No, I'm not helping my sons and daughters. No, I'm not helping a damn soul. I'm going to kick back. I'm going to frickin' relax. And everybody can piss off. I've had this project stare me in the face for at least six months now that I've been wanting to get to and it's um, it's just been driving me crazy just every time I come out here I it just drives me nuts and so I picked this weekend to get it done or as much as I could anyway and I think you guys are in for quite a little surprise here now I want to preface this by saying that this is only possible by the incredible generosity of a couple of guys that read my blog. They volunteered these parts to me out of their pocket, set everything up, and delivered it. And they would prefer to remain nameless, which kills me because I would like to thank them both by name, but they know who they are, so this one's for you guys. Uh, there's been a little bit of an upgrade to this Smithy 3-in-1 because of their generosity, and I'm going to lay this on you. That's new. That's where that motor used to be. I had to build a jack shaft for this. Look, Ma, one hand. Oh, you like that? Here, try this. possible because of the generosity of these two gentlemen who showed up at my house one day with this. Forward and backward, adjustable speed. I freaking love it. this off for a little bit of safety I still I'm not done but it is functional I gotta gotta find a place to mount this box and I'm thinking hold on just a second here I'm trying to do all this crap with one hand I'm uh, thinking right there looks like that would be a good spot but there's gonna be a bunch of bracket making and stuff but as you can see here, it's right up against the So there's going to be some bracket making, and it's going to stick out. But because I put the, the DROs up here, and there's so much other stuff in the way, this is about the only place I can see that it will fit where it will still be handy, where I can get at it right away. So... I am just beyond myself. I just, the generosity of these two fellas is just off the scale. That's a, by the way, brand spanking new. They even wired it up for me. And on top of that, they brought this 220 motor. Didn't have a pulley on it. I had to do some. I couldn't find a pulley at the local hardware store. Today is the Sunday on the 
three day weekend so I found this brass one here in my junk pile and I had to board out the 7 8 just got set screws on it I've already ordered the correct one from that bezels character but yeah this took a little bit of doing I've had this part completed for three months I guess and I got rid of the bypass all this happy stuff here I don't need all that now and of course you still got your clutch in and out but uh, yeah so this thing now has variable speed bi-directional so I can slow this puppy way down which is what I've been wanting since I got this thing so it always turned way too fast for my case so yeah there's still more to be done here that's one of those funky take the link out belt things one of those but I had it and it worked this mount here, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. The, the motor's too tall to fit, you know, with, with this bracket standing this way. So, for right now, I just got her clamped down. And of course, I had to cut a hole in my deck here. But she's a runner. I'm gonna have to put some kind of some kind of cover over this whole deal here because it's safety Nazis would be screaming and wetting their pants otherwise you know how they are. I don't know how they live to be as old as they are, but they did. So. so yeah, this has been a long time coming and I am just thrilled. Thrilled beyond words. So happy. Got, like I said, got a little bit more. Let's hit the Kyle M. He's got a YouTube channel, Vietnamese guy. He does amazing things. I ordered that sticker from him because that's pretty cool. He custom designed that. And uh, we had to go on here just because I don't have one red blood vessel. Blood. <coughs> Word I'm looking for corpuscle worth of talent compared to what that young man has. But we do what we can. So yeah, I gotta I gotta mount this thing, and then I gotta do something with the wire. You know, I'll put some kind of freaking conduit or something that goes around the corner here, and yada yada yada. But there it is. Fully adjustable speed with reverse. I just absolutely thrilled so that's what I've been doing for the past couple days you know I've there's been lots of things change you know I I scored this toolbox for free on the side of the road thought that was a pretty good deal I took a little doing actually used my old mini lathe to uh, drill the inside of that brass gear or brass pulley out so first chips I've made and I couldn't even tell you this months this months but now that I got this thing pretty close that's going to be changing I had to uh, clean up my garage whether I wanted to or not you know you can't tell but then it's fine maybe I'll give you the panorama view it's of course already already reverting to its natural state but you know without that in the way there there's actually bare concrete in the middle of that floor it's just kind of like i haven't seen that in two years but there it is the old smithy is finally getting up to speed and i like i said i'm just thrilled to death the only problem that i ran into when i plugged this into the wall over there by my toolbox uh, it's got one of them damn 
ground fault interrupt and it just immediately snapped out so i'm having to run an extension cord to where the washing machine is to make this work but that's fine i got no problems with that <clears throat> The, the the washer's still plugged in. The wifely unit can do laundry if she needs to, and I can be out here making chips and making a mess and getting dirty. So there you are. Um, like I said, sorry it's been so long. It's just been insane. I do appreciate very much you guys, you know, kind of tuning in here, see what I've been up to. If you'd be so kind as to give it the old thumbs up, like, share subscribe hit the notification if you feel like it whatever else you do on the internet these days i will see you again soon bye